Well, it's really been challenging for us. You know, we've really have had to battle some injuries this, this offseason. We've got four players that are out of practice right now. We're not a healthy team. We're dealing with seven scholarship players in practice. You know, we don't have our full roster. I think our team, what it looked like on paper in the summertime, is not the team that we're dealing with right now. We have two players that, uh, you know, are out with some injuries that we don't know how long they'll last. Um, and then we've got two players that have got some significant, had significant surgeries, and you know how long they get back is still unknown. So, uh, you know, we're a few weeks away from opening up, and um, you know, the practice with the guys that we've had in practice has gone well. They've worked hard, but we have a long way to go right now. Head Patrick in just before you talk about yeah, he, he is, definitely has experience and he's been through the SEC battles. What are you looking for from him this year and, and his role? You know, just consistency. I think one of the things that Patrick has had to deal with, which, you know, for him, he's got, I think he's had to learn how to deal with is, you know, all these expectations of coming in as a highly regarded guy and being compared to Dwight Howard. And that, that, that's really, I think, for a young kid at 17 or 18 years old coming to college and having to live up to that has been very challenging for him. And I think there's been part of Patrick where I'm not so sure Patrick has ever been able to enjoy just who he is. And he's gotten much better. He's a great kid. He's worked hard. He's going to graduate. He's been a great ambassador for our program and for the University of Florida. And But I think all the time it's been difficult for him when you've got a young man that every single time he does something, everybody wants a little bit more, a little bit more. And, you know, he's not Dwight Howard. You know, he's Patrick Young, and that's who he is. And um, I think that, you know, you see some things and him do some things and you say, wow, this is – but uh, the biggest thing he's done this year is I think he's going to be more consistent. I think he's going to be more true to who he is. Coach, talk about a lot of transition on the roster this year. Young players, um, limited limited numbers coming back or starters coming back. Uh, talk about building chemistry and is it a proactive effort on your part or does it just happen over time? In your experience, how does that work? Well, we're, we're pretty proactive in trying to do that, as I'm sure every you know school in the country is trying to do. Um, it's hard right now. The biggest challenge I've got as a coach is here we've got seven players in practice, and as players start to get healthy and you start having to inject them into your team at different points, there's always going to be some kind of chemistry role issues, not because of anybody being selfish, but now all of a sudden a guy that was playing 25 minutes maybe goes down to 15 minutes, 10 minutes are taken away because this guy's playing a little bit more now. You haven't had time to practice that way. It's a little bit different. And then before you know it, you're just kind of bringing people back. And the team you started with is totally different than the team that you may be in December or January. So the unfortunate part for us is this is going to be a very much of an evolving situation. But the positive for us is I'm hopeful that we get our full complement of players at some point in time and be able to move forward with those guys. Part of the evolving process is a pretty challenging schedule, especially when you get into December. You've got a pretty good three-game stretch, UConn, Kansas, and Memphis. Can you talk about the non-conference schedule? Well, one of the things that we've tried to do is, um, you know, is to play a national schedule. One, we feel like we're in a national conference. Um, we feel like, you know, Florida, we want to be a national program, and I think we have been that. Um, and going out and playing, you know, a Kansas, playing Memphis, playing UConn, doing some of the things that we're doing. Um, you know, every year we're going to play Florida State from the ACC. I think those things are good. I think it enhances our league. I think it enhances our program. I think kids coming into our program realize they're going to play in a highly competitive environment, not only in our league but in our non-conference schedule. And I also think it prepares you for the league. It prepares you for those league road tests. You know, we're going to go to UConn and play them in stores on their home court. Uh, there couldn't be anything better for us to get prepared to go into our league and some of the venues that we've got to play in. So I think your non-conference schedule can be very, very helpful. You know, second game of the year, having to go to Wisconsin. You know, we're going to find out a lot about our team. And I think those kind of games is what you learn a lot about yourself from.